my God, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to sit down again. To be put in front of a judge and given a guardian, that was when they took her away from us. I have no money, and I'm gonna tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching, and she was crying out for help. Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. The Guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. My life, my life. <laughs> right now, she's weak and vulnerable, and she needs to be around people who aren't gonna take advantage of that. I have no friends. Y'all, not Sharina Hudson having the audacity to come out here on Beyonce's internet and mock Wendy Williams for getting dementia. We thought stealing Wendy's man was the worst that Sharina could do, but she just sunk to the lowest of lows. After three years of being away from our screens, it was recently announced that Wendy has been diagnosed with dementia and her career has officially come to an end. Now, Sharina has been hating on Wendy for the longest time, especially after Wendy stopped paying Kevin and Sharina alimony and she is now taking the time to throw some shade at Wendy. Not that she has much to do with her time because Miss Mama is unemployed, but okay, Sharina is clearly the type to kick someone when they're down, and she wants all the smoke with Wendy. Y'all get on this drama because Sharina clearly wants all the smoke. It was just revealed that Wendy Williams was diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and FTD. This is going to be talked about on the new Lifetime special that is airing this Saturday about her life. The actual article says in 2023, after undergoing a battery of medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and FTD. Aphasia is a condition affecting language and communication abilities, and FTD is a progressive disorder impacting behavior and cognitive functions. It looks like Sharina Hudson is trying her best to be voted the worst person of the year. I mean, a lot of people already don't like her because of her affair with Wendy Williams' husband, Kevin Hunter, and how she teamed up with Kevin to treat Wendy badly during their marriage and after it. Sharina has been acting very shady toward Wendy even after Wendy divorced Kevin and Sharina had Kevin to herself. Chile, Wendy's alimony payment to Kevin was literally financing his life with Sharina, paying for their fancy house, their fancy cars, and every other thing that they owned, down to their health insurance. So you'd think that Sharina would have shown Wendy a little bit of respect considering that she and her man were living off her. But Sharina didn't, and she has just been low-key messy over the years. And now, given the fact that Wendy has come crashing and things are bad for her, you'd think that now would be the time for Sharina to show some respect. Wendy literally just got diagnosed with dementia, so it would be the time for Sharina to show some respect or be silent. But still, here she is, acting out and being all messy. Wendy had been going through tough times for quite a while, and it all kicked off even before she split with Kevin. The whole mess began with Kevin and Sharina, who were giving her a hard time long before she decided to file for divorce. Kevin had been seeing Sharina for years before he and Wendy called it quits. The affair started back in 2007, so by now, they've been at it for a good 17 years years. And it wasn't just your regular degular scenario. Kevin didn't exactly have stacks of cash lying around, so he was essentially using Wendy's money to keep Sharina happy. He went as far as buying her a house worth over $700,000, and guess whose pocket that came out of? Yep, Wendy's. Word even got out that Sharina was pushing Kevin to leave Wendy for her, but he couldn't bring himself to do so. It had nothing to do with him loving Wendy and everything to do with the fact that he and Sharina were both relying on Wendy's funds to keep their extravagant lifestyle afloat. They'd grown accustomed to the high life, and neither of them was making enough money to sustain it without Wendy. But it wasn't just the fancy house that Kevin splurged on for Sharina. Oh no, he went all out, showering her with fancy cars, designer clothes, and he even went ahead and set up five different businesses for her. Sadly, none of them were successful because they all packed up after only a short time. An insider said he put her through school to be a massage therapist. He opened a kiosk for her at a mall in North Carolina where she's from. He helped her set up a jewelry and clothing line online called Vish, but none of her businesses have been a success. Kevin didn't even have the decency to be subtle about his affair with Sharina. Everyone and their grandma knew he was cheating on Wendy, who tried to play it cool, acting like nothing fazed her. But deep down, it was tearing her up inside. Oh my God, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to sit down again. She was put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm gonna tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you as her family. We were all sitting on the sidelines watching, and she was crying out for help. Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. What made it sting even more was the fact that Kevin had apparently cut Wendy off from her support system. So when he started stepping out, she had no one to turn to. She was dealing with all the heartache solo. Tough break, right? I had nobody again to talk to, but the times now were even deeper than they ever were in my life. 
I couldn't call my mom, my dad, my sister. They would have just said, just leave, just leave. And I'm like, I, but I'm still in love. I don't know what to do. Like, are you serious with this? This is really going down. This is going down. Insiders also confirmed that she had been alienated from her family and someone said, he controls everything, he takes her phone, she has zero friends, she's not in regular contact with her family. He controls every aspect of her life because he's insecure. His only skill is spending her money and the money trickles down to Sharina. Wendy's attitude is disgusting, so no one has sympathy for her. She started deteriorating on the show in plain view, but she fed her fans this story about Graves' disease and now it comes out that it was alcohol and drugs all along. But while Wendy tried to pretend like things were perfect in her marriage, they weren't because Kevin's affair with Sharina was causing a lot of tension between Wendy and Kevin. Now, do you guys remember that time on Wendy's show when she talked about having a fracture on her shoulder? Here's a little recap of that. So I have a hair fracture on my right shoulder and I did it on Sunday. And by Monday morning, my shoulder was on fire. There's no way I could have done yesterday's show. So I went and well, I was all about the medical care yesterday from one doctor to the other. So I'm on the men's. I don't need an operation. They tell me I'm very healthy, you know, for uh, a person after 50. Well, word on the street is that Wendy supposedly took a fall during a heated argument with Kevin where they were having a fight over his affair with Sharina. Now, we're not sure if Wendy fell accidentally, tripped over something, or was given a gentle push, but what we do know is that the argument was all about Kevin's side piece. But wait, it gets even wilder. Apparently, while Wendy was nursing her injury, she checked herself into a rehab spot in Florida. And get this, Kevin decided to be the doting husband and flew down to Florida to be by her side for a few weeks. Sounds sweet, right? Well, not exactly because he brought Sharina along for the ride and they made it into a lil vacation. Girl, it's the audacity for me. Things eventually came to a head when Kevin went and got Sharina knocked up in 2019 and Wendy had had enough. Up until then, she'd been willing to turn a blind eye to the affair, as long as there weren't any mini Kevins or mini Sharinas running around. Twelve whole years she pretended like nothing was going on. But a baby, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. That's when Wendy finally had her meltdown. Wendy was super hurt over Kevin having a baby on her and it caused her drinking problem to get worse. Do you remember how she admitted to living in a sober house a few weeks after she filed for divorce? Two weeks after she made the reveal, it was reported that she was rushed to a hospital after a relapse. What happened was that she had checked herself out of the sober house, had begun drinking heavily, and was found in bad shape by her family. It turned out that she did this because she discovered that Kevin had welcomed a baby girl with Sharina. I get how this can sting because while Wendy knew about Sharina but didn't know that she was pregnant, so when she heard about the baby, she was completely blindsided and heartbroken, and I feel like this might have had something to do with the fact that Wendy had a stillborn baby girl in the early days of her marriage with Kevin. She eventually made up her mind to leave the marriage, but Wendy, being Wendy, wasn't going to leave without a bang, so she made plans to make his life pretty difficult. In an interview, Kevin revealed that Wendy had strategically planned things out, and not only did she divorce him, but she also arranged for him to be fired from the Wendy show. He said, when the news was out, I told her I would step down from the show, and Wendy told me I need to stay because I was having a kid. I stayed only to later be lined up. I got fired from management, served divorce papers, and also fired from the show all in the same day. Wendy definitely enjoyed doing this and she revealed so in an interview. You know, if you make, I don't recommend that you work with your husband because I made him my manager. And then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. Yeah. In other words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. At the time, Kevin was unemployed, as was Sharina, so without access to the bank of Wendy, they were hurting for cash. Instead of hitting the job market like the rest of us regular folks, they decided to drag Wendy to court, demanding alimony from her. Kevin figured he deserved a fat check for his part in making the Wendy show what it is. Anyway, the divorce went through and the courts ordered Wendy to pay him alimony. We don't know the exact figure, but you can bet it was enough to keep Kevin and Sharina living the good life without lifting a finger to work. As for Wendy, well, she started to unravel after the divorce. Can you really blame her, though? She's been through a lot in these past few years. First, her mom passed in December 2020. Then, throughout 2021, she was battling both mental and physical health issues, which meant she had to take a step back from her show. Just when things started looking up, her show got axed. And as if that wasn't enough, Wells Fargo decided Wendy couldn't handle her own finances and slapped her with a guardianship. Messy, right? And let's not forget the online trolls piling on her while she was down. And where were Kevin 
Kevin and Sharina during all this? Well, they were not exactly holding Wendy's hand. Kevin even proposed to Sharina with an $80,000 ring, bought from Wendy's alimony money, while Wendy was still in the thick of her struggles. Talk about tone deaf. In September 2022, word got out that Wendy checked into rehab again for substance issues. She'd actually been there since August, but they kept it hush-hush. After the news broke, Wendy's rep, Sean Zanotti, issued a statement saying, Wendy Williams checked into a wellness facility to help manage her overall health issues. She is taking some time to focus on her health and wellness as she prepares for a major comeback for the next level in her career with the Wendy Experience podcast. Ms. Williams is being treated by a team of some of the best doctors in the world. We ask for your prayers and well wishes during this time. Well, the next couple of years were super tough for Wendy because she had a hard time dealing with her health. It was so bad that Tasha Kay even claimed that Wendy had dementia. Wendy done. Wendy done. Wendy is done. And I don't like to say this, Lionsgate got her in a safe house, okay? She is not at her Manhattan apartment. Wendy Williams is living in a safe house away from paparazzi. Now she has lost all blood circulation to the bottom uh, of her legs and her feet, so she can't walk. Her voter goal is out of control and she has early stages of uh, uh, dementia. However, Wendy's brother denied the rumors and he slammed Tasha Kay for spreading fake news. He claimed that even though Wendy wasn't exactly in perfect health physically, there was nothing wrong with her mental health. He said, we haven't had any alerts like that and I haven't seen anything like that or have had conversations with her that would lead me to believe that. We routinely go up and check on Wendy. So no, we don't have any concerns concerning her mental state. It's all physical. We all held on to hope that things were getting better for Wendy, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way for her. A couple of weeks ago, it was announced that she would be starring in a documentary and the release trailer made it clear that Wendy was still in a bad state. In the trailer, she admitted that she had no money and was broke. I have to sit down again. She was put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching. The trailer also kind of hinted that she was still struggling with her drinking. Drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. Her son, Kevin Jr., also appeared in the trailer, again, saying that he didn't want his mom to work, and it kind of sounded like he didn't want her to do the documentary. She always talks about how she wants to work. I feel as though she's worked enough. She has people around who are yes people and allowing this to continue. He then claimed that the court-ordered guardian wasn't taking care of Wendy and was leaving her open to being taken advantage of. The guardian has not done a good job of protecting my mom. My life. My life. <laughs> right now, she's weak and vulnerable, and she needs to be around people who aren't going to take advantage of that. I have no friend. But even with that, we all held out hope that things would eventually start looking up for Wendy, cause Chile, she has been through a lot. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case because from the latest update that we just got, things are even worse than they appeared to be in the trailer. Her medical team released a statement a couple of days ago about her current health status. And unfortunately, it's not the good news that we were hoping for. The statement said, in 2023, after undergoing a battery of medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia, FTD. Her symptoms, which combined impact her language and communication, behavior, and cognitive functions, have already presented significant hurdles in Wendy's life. This is sad, but Tasha Kay told us about this back in 2020, but we didn't believe her back then for obvious reasons. Tasha Kay is notorious for making up lies about other celebs and passing them off as the truth for no other reason than because she wanted the clout. That's the reason she's in debt of over $4 million to Cardi B, and she's constantly catching losses suits left and right. But it looks like she's right about this one because she also claimed that Wendy lost all blood flow to the bottom of her legs and her feet so she can only move around in a wheelchair. Now she has lost all blood circulation to the bottom uh, of her legs and her feet so she can't walk. This was confirmed when pictures of Wendy surfaced online where she was being pushed around New York in a wheelchair. But like I said before, Wendy's brother denied the dementia allegations at the time and claimed that there was nothing mentally wrong with Wendy and it had nothing to do with her mental state. When the documentary trailer dropped, folks began speculating that Wendy's family might be trying to sweep some harsh truths under the rug. And from what's coming out now, it seems like there might be some truth to that, but it was her court-ordered guardian who was trying to hide the truth. Wendy's brother wasn't exactly spinning tales because now her family is stepping forward, claiming that Wendy's court-appointed guardian has been keeping them at arm's length. Wendy's sister, Wanda Finney, spilled the tea, revealing that the guardian started putting up walls between Wendy and her family shortly after the guardian 
guardianship began back in April 2022. That's nearly two years ago. They've been cut off from Wendy ever since. Wanda also revealed that the family wasn't even carried along or given updates about Wendy's health, and the last time they heard anything about her health was in 2021. Wanda said, When she was in Florida, there were a number of people involved. Even beyond family, there were doctors involved and people in Wendy's professional world that were involved. She had a health team in place, nurses in place, and she had family in place. She was getting healthier. In the documentary, Wendy's son, Kevin Hunter Jr., revealed that the doctors diagnosed Wendy with alcohol-induced dementia. According to experts, alcohol-induced dementia and frontotemporal dementia, FTD, can be related in that chronic alcohol abuse can cause brain damage, often in the frontal lobe. FTD can be triggered by genetics, but also by alcohol abuse, especially alcohol abuse later in life. Wanda also blasted Wendy's guardian for keeping Wendy away from her family, saying, I don't think there's anyone Wendy needed more than her family. Separate the money part. All I want to know is that my sister is going to live and that she's going to be healthy. The concern of the family has always been Wendy's health. People who have seen some snippets of the documentary spilled the beans, revealing a troubling scene where Wendy seemed to be struggling with memory lapses and difficulty communicating during a visit to her family in 2022. Despite her family's efforts to convince her to stick around, Wendy opted to heed back to her apartment in New York, where she reportedly kept drowning her sorrows in alcohol. That's when the producers hit the brakes on filming, fearing for her well-being. Wendy's niece, Alex Finney, also talked about the extreme measures that Wendy's guardian took to keep Wendy away from her family. Alex claimed that Wendy is required to call her family members from a blocked phone number, meaning they can't reach out directly to her. Alex also said, And I say this honestly, we went through birthdays, we went through the holidays, we went through illness. There was a period when my grandfather was in the hospital. There was no way to contact her and let her know what was going on with her 93-year-old father. It's definitely raising eyebrows. I mean, why go to such lengths to keep her family at bay, not even giving them her phone number? That's basic stuff, and it's definitely raising suspicions. Now, a snippet from the documentary has hit the internet, and let me tell you, it's tough to watch. Wendy's struggle to keep up with a conversation is evident, especially in a scene where Block China is trying to reassure her. It's heart-wrenching to see her like that. And you know what's really sad? The fact that she's still holding on to that Hunter last name. It speaks volumes about how much she cared for Kevin and how deeply his betrayal hurt her. Look, I'm not saying it's all Kevin's fault, but a lot of folks agree that his actions made things a whole lot worse for her. Wendy's battle with alcohol had been ongoing, but it hit new heights when Kevin went and had a baby with Sharina Hudson. She was on the mend, but after Kevin's bombshell, she took a nosedive. It led to a drinking spree that landed her in a wellness facility, and from there, it was like one thing after another, just spiraling out of control. With all Wendy has been going through, you'd think that Sharina would either keep her mouth shut if she had nothing positive to say about Wendy, but that's not the case here, because according to an insider, she has been mocking Wendy and clowning her, saying that Wendy's life is over and ruined. Now, Wendy did stop paying Sharina and Kevin alimony in 2022, which quickly caused them to go broke. It turns out that through all the years of Wendy paying them alimony, they never saved, invested, or did anything meaningful with the money. So once the checks stopped coming in, they quickly went broke. Not just broke, bankrupt. Sharina was even sued for unpaid credit card debt for owing roughly $3,500 on her TJ Maxx credit card, and it just shows how deep in the trenches she is, and the rumors of her being broke aren't just rumors. Girl, this is embarrassing for them, because how do you go from flexing the good life to being sued over $3,500? According to an insider, she sees this as payback for Wendy stopping the alimony payments instead of continuing to fund Sharina and Kevin's lifestyle. Chiley, it's the entitlement for me. Fans left comments saying, Wendy Williams' punishment does not fit her crime, in my opinion. Yeah, she talked a lot of ish about a lot of celebrities for many years, but this is just too much. I really hope she gets the support and healing she deserves. I think what breaks my heart even more about Wendy Williams being diagnosed with dementia is that even though she has lost her memory, she still remembers the trauma of what happened to her in her marriage. And this is heartbreaking. Wendy Williams provided so many people with so much joy and laughter. She shaped a generation and provided so much to the culture. It always seems to be people who make others laugh that struggle the most. I hope she finds peace, health, and happiness. Homegirl is miserable. Like, uh -huh. In the meantime, I'm over here, you know. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Welcome to Hot Topics, Sharina Hudson. Oh. Getting out of my car. Wendy Williams. I'm just gonna put it out here. Wendy done. Wendy done. Wendy is done. And I don't like to say this, 
Linus Gate got her in a safe house, okay? She is not at her Manhattan apartment. Wendy Williams is living in a safe house away from paparazzi. Okay? Now, she has lost all blood circulation to the bottom uh, of her legs and her feet, so she can't walk. Her voter goal is out of control, and she has early stages of uh, uh, dementia. This is heartbreaking, but y'all go ahead and let me know how you feel about this situation, then check out this next video.